In July of 2015, just uh, weeks after the Charleston Church Massacre, a large group of people drove up to the party in Douglasville in trucks flying Confederate flags. The child's mother says the group walked up to her property and threatened her family. The people accused in the case said the confrontation started when someone at the party threw an object at one of the trucks. But the mother's accusations and video of the incident were enough to charge several people with violating Georgia's street gang terrorism law. A Douglas County judge sentenced two of them this morning. And Fox 5's Portia Bruner was in court for today's emotional hearing. Portia? Yeah, I can tell you the emotion in that courtroom was palpable. You've got members of three families, the two defendants in this case, as well as the families out of those holding that birthday party. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video from court this morning. Uh, the bottom line, the sentence is here. 26-year-old Jose Ismael Torres sentenced to 20 years. He was uh, ordered to serve 13 years for uh, terroristic threats, gang activity, uh, among other charges. For, stemming from this incident back in July of 2015. And then also 25-year-old Kayla Ray Norton sentenced to 15 years with six to serve. She actually stood up and apologized to the family for her role in what happened that night when that convoy of pickup trucks uh, with uh, people carrying Confederate flags and uh, shotguns pulled up to their home and pointed weapons at the children and the other people at the party. Here's what she said. Now, Judge William McLean noted before sentencing uh, that given the nature of the language use, a uh, uh, heavy use of the N-word uh, directed at the people and children at that birthday party, he said that there was no doubt that this was a racially motivated crime. And he also said driving around town in a convoy of pickup trucks with Confederate flags and waving weapons was seen as a threat not just to this family but to the many people who ended up calling 911 that day. He said that is why he felt like the defendants had to be held accountable. There were other people who were charged in this case. They pled they're serving uh, two to four years. We'll have much more on this story coming up tonight on Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. Reporting live in Douglas County, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News.